Hello again, it's Izzy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and use droplets from compressor. And these are awesome time savers. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so to demonstrate this, let's go to show. And I have some different custom settings I've created here. I'm just going to click on one and then command click on another and then command click on another one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a droplet that covers all three of these different settings. Now, I could just choose one if I want to, but I want to demonstrate just using all three of them here at the same time. Once I have them selected here, I just control click, hold down control on the keyboard and then click right here and choose save as droplet. So I have to give the droplet a name. I'm going to call this awesome droplet because it is really awesome. I'm going to save it on my desktop and the location is the source. What that means is whatever source video you use, the location where the new videos that are created are going to end up is where the source of the video was. If that doesn't make sense, I'll demonstrate here in a moment. I'll click save. And now I've saved a droplet, but it doesn't look like anything here is different. So let's close down compressor and take a look at our desktop. Quick compressor. And now you can see I have this new icon here, this new app. It's a little miniature app. Its sole purpose is to transcode a video that gets dropped on it to the settings that I selected when I made the droplet. So let's take a look. I'm just going to grab this, this uh, clip right here. I'll hit the space bar so you can see a quick preview. Okay, time-lapse video of the farm. I'm gonna click and drag and just drop it right on top of the droplet like this, and then let go, and this window pops up. And all it's gonna do is take this video, give it these settings, so it's gonna transcode three new videos with these three different groups of settings here, and then it's gonna store the new videos wherever the source video was. In this case, it's the desktop. Now, I could, if I want to, choose a different location, but I'm gonna leave it right on source. And then I'll just click Start Batch. Now it's gonna, behind the scenes, I can't tell what's going on right now, but what's happening is it's transcoding the videos. And it's a short video clip that I'm working with right here, so it's not gonna take very long, but in a moment, you'll see the video start to appear here. You can see they're appearing now. And there you go, I have three different videos here. I can click on this one, hit the space bar, there it is. Same thing here, hit the space bar, and same thing here, hit the space bar. So I've created three different video clips all using the same droplet. Now this is a great tool if you have a group of settings that you know you're going to use over and over again without making any changes, might as well create a droplet so you can just drop videos on top of it when you need to transcode them using those settings. That's how you can create and use droplets from Compressor. Hopefully you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.